Hi friends, it is Whitney Shattuck with the First Grade Roundup and I am doing my second video for um, my data wall. Um, so in the first video we um, talked about, let me get out of that for just a second. In the first video we talked about um, how to type in your info in the data wall. Um, we talked about inserting and deleting rows and columns, typing in your data, editing your headers, customizing that, hiding headers that you don't want to see, sorting your students and your data, highlighting them by tiers, um, by tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, um, and then printing it so it'll fit on one page. And then we talked about exporting to Excel. So if you did not <clears throat> catch that video then you can look on my YouTube channel and catch video one part one of data wall so in this video we're gonna talk about um, some more things for Google Drive so if you will look this will be the file that you will receive you obviously will not get the document from the teacher pay teacher download because um, it's a Google Drive so you will get this file page you will have your file page and it will have a link for you okay and I wanted to go over this because Google Drive is very tricky um, with their documents and so anything that you do can change anything that anybody else does if you share a document um, with somebody and you let them edit it they can change everything obviously I don't want um, all of my lovely teacher friends changing my data wall because I want it to work for me so what you're gonna see whenever you pull up this link is this awesome little Google Drive page right here and it says would you like to make a copy of data wall and you're gonna say yes make a copy you're gonna click on this blue button <clears throat> the written instructions are also um, in there for this but this is just in case you've missed that and then you will get your own you'll notice up here it will say copy of data wall and then you can, I hope I'm trying to connect, there we go, um, you can just go ahead and change the name up here, I would change mine to Mrs. Shattuck's data wall, um, so that reflects yours. Now, if you want to share this with somebody, like if you need to turn it into your administrator at the end of the year, beginning, middle, and end part of the year, however you want to do it, then you can share by clicking on um, this share button okay however this is really really um, tricky um, on this part because number one whoever you share it to um, will have access to this document and depending on your settings they may even be able to change your documents so you're going to need to be careful with that we'll talk about that here in just a second the other thing is licensing by purchasing this product the data wall product you purchased one license for this product that means that you can use it for yourself and for yourself only okay you can share it with your administrator um, if they need to see it um, but you will share it without them without them having the ability to change anything or make their own from it okay so if you share it with your principal and your principal says this is fantastic I love it I want other teachers to be able to use this too um, then you can go through um, the link there will be a link here on the your file page it's not there yet because I'm not live on TPT yet but it will be here and you can um, not only leave me feedback to earn your credits but you can also purchase um, the another license for half off for 50% of the purchase price okay so if that's something that your principal is interested in doing then she he or she can easily get a discount for everybody in your school to use it 50% uh, off okay after the first person but um, under this is copyright law protected so under copyright laws um, you can legally only use it for yourself okay so if you need to share your data with your principal <clears throat> you would click share okay and then right here you're going to just type in um, the email address of the person you want to share it with okay so I want to share it with um, the first grade roundup at gmail.com okay and then right here I can legally share it with somebody as they can view it okay I don't have any problem with that because 
they cannot, um, they're just going to be able to see your stuff. They're not going to be able to change your stuff. Okay. If you leave it on can edit, then number one, unless they have a license for it, you're breaking copyright um, laws. But number two, and really more importantly for you, um, they're changing, they're able to change your document. Okay. And really, um, you should only you should be the only one able to change your student data anyways okay so there's how you can do that <clears throat> if you um, are wanting to share this um, and you want your friends um, well let me just take that back if you're if your colleagues are wanting to use that really the best thing for them to do is instead of you sharing it the best thing for them to do is to purchase the additional license at 50 percent off um, click the link in the um, purchase file right here and then they can automatically make a copy of it instead of um, running your um, copy of that Okay, I also just wanted to go over real quickly um, before we end this video the other um, products that are coming soon. So this these two videos have been about data wall. Um, I am also making an intervention grid. These two really go hand in hand. Um, and I've got a blog post up on my blog, the first grade roundup at dot blogspot dot com um, about mistakes that we make for intervention. I've lived through them. I've done them. I'm hoping you don't make the same mistakes. So I've got a blog there that you can catch on ways to basically maximize your intervention time um, with your PLC team and your school. Okay, these two really kind of go hand in hand. I've also got a math data one. This particular product goes with my quarterly assessments that are on my Teacher Pay Teacher store. And um, they, it has already progressed out first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter skills. And um, you can kind of see, it's teeny tiny, but you can kind of see, I don't know what happened to my arrow, um, that you, that they're color coded by quarter. And it um, aligns up with that pacing guide and that quarterly assessment. Um, my pacing guide is also in my store um, for math and literacy, but it also lines up with that math quarterly assessment as well. Um, so that you can do that. Now that is for first grade. Um, and hopefully, long term, I'm hoping to update that for some other grade levels also. Okay. And then finally, the last Google Doc that I'm going to have available is lesson plan or lesson plan templates. And I'm super excited about these. Um, I have been using these on um, Google Drive now uh, for a, a little bit and I love them. Um, I love how I can just access them at home or school and I can really just keep it digital. I don't even have to print anything because um, I can actually use my Google Drive app on my phone um, to look at my lesson plans. So um, that will be coming as well. Each of these will come with our own set of videos and instructions as well um, in case you need the additional help. So once again, um, that those are my two videos for the data wall on Google Drive um, for you to purchase. Um, feel free to stop by my TPT store, the First Grade Roundup, and check those out. Add them to your wish list. Um, whatever you want to do and definitely leave me some feedback if you've already purchased um, these products because um, I'd like to know what you think or um, I've lived with them for a couple of years so I've um, perfected them for me but um, I'm sure there are other ways to make them better too and I'd love to hear that. Um, thanks again and I hope to catch you on one of my other product videos. Thanks a lot.